you made a quick work of your time on the court tonight, 17 points in 24 minutes. Just tell us about your overall performance. Um, not honestly, I felt like I could have started off a little bit better in the fouls, for sure. But I felt like I came out and kind of took that next step forward just with just, you know, kind of like my mindset on the game, just coming out, just being physical. And also, you know, being in the right spots on the defensive end, trying to be the anchor, of course. Yeah, you had four block, block, block shots tonight. What were you doing in order to protect the rim? Uh, just being there for my teammates, you know. It's a fast-paced game, and it's a lot of things that's going to happen down the stretch to where it's a lot of guys that probably get beat off the dribble at the end of the day. So I'm the last line of defense, so i got to protect home. So that most definitely tried to do my job 100% tonight for sure. <laughs> How much do you guys get in, get into Luke and what he's doing with those 30-point triple doubles? I mean, you know, we just, just can sit back and watch, I would say. You know, at the end of the day, man, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing just to kind of like see – night in, night out, just what he brings to the game and just how he manipulates the game and just puts it in our favor at the end of the day. He draws a lot of attention coming off screen, so it makes it, it makes a lot of guys on the team better too whenever we're just prepared for it. So we just kind of feed off of his energy. From your perspective, obviously you got hit from behind, so you didn't see it at the time. Have you seen the replay and yeah. what happened? From your perspective, describe kind of what happened. I mean, it was just a pretty much a hard foul at the end of the day. And it's like, you know, I got pushed to the ground, I would say, afterwards. So, yeah, I mean, it's basketball. I really don't hold it against guys when it comes to them playing physical. I've always gotten thrown to the ground or hit in the face or hit in the back of the head, so on and so forth when I came and played these guys. So, I mean, I, I, know what I'm, I know what I'm cut out for at the end of the day. I know I got to prepare for just like the physical side of it at the end of the day. But, I mean, with that being said, just, you know, good hit. You know, I get those most mostly night in, night out. Just good to just have guys come and just have my back in those situations. That was that was good too. That's what I was gonna say. You and PJ have only been teammates for mm -hmm. three, four weeks. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he got there pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. He for, he for sure did. And I mean, you know, that's just something that for sure, just any team that I've been on, I always appreciate because you know guys always are there for me because at the end of the day, I try to do the same thing for them. Mm -hmm. Do you have to rewire your brain a little bit going from playing in a different situation to playing here with us, you know, real expectations and playoff expectations inside the locker room? Um, you know, with just like the mentality that I always come to the game, come to games with is just, you know, the next game is the important game. And then just coming with just like the playoff mindset for sure. I mean, every game is going to be a playoff game for me. You know, I always come out with that type of mindset. No matter how I'm playing that game, I try to be the best I can be at my caliber and just how far my career is going to go. That's kind of like how I plan out and I, you know, prepare myself on a night-to-night -night basis, you know. So it's kind of been just like the same. You know, I made a playoff run when I first got to Washington my first year there, and that was my first time. So, uh, you know, I got a decent taste for it. So now I'm just like, you know, I just got to find a way to get back to it. And so now that I'm in the situation I'm in now, I just have to for sure make sure that I'm doing my part to be able to help us make that playoff run for sure. What do you guys got to do to piggyback off this win going into Monday's game against Chicago? I mean, not take anything for granted at the end of the day. That was a good team that we played in the first half. They for sure came out of through the first punch. And we adjusted and threw the first punch in the second half. So really just kind of coming out and just being able to have the mindset to throw the first punch in this next game for sure. I mean, Chicago, Chicago is a good team too. It's going to be a battle on our hands. So we just have to come prepared. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And you guys scored 34 points in each quarter. What were you able to do tonight from an offensive standpoint? Yeah, I think when you look at just the touches um, early, I thought Luca got everybody involved. Um, we had a lot of guys touching the ball. Not when you say, you know, touching the ball, they weren't shooting it. Um, you know, just being able to um, have touches. Um, I thought Kai set the tone for us uh, offensively, and then Luca picked it up and, um, and then carried us. But for us to win the first two quarters with the turnovers and offensive rebounds that we talked about at halftime, I thought we did a really good job on Cade in the second half. Uh, of making sure that he had to do something different. What can you say about Luke as he continued his 30 point triple double streak? Yeah, well, when you look up there and you see the stats and he needs one rebound, uh, it seemed like we weren't going to get a miss or a stop. Um, but we finally got that. But that just shows uh, where he's playing at right now, the level that he's at, um, to be able to, to score um, and also to be able to find his teammates. And then lastly, being able to rebound the ball for us to help us on the defensive end. It's one of those things, might get lost in a night like this, but 
Our Hardaway's close to the third quarter and start of the fourth were pretty key for you guys. Yeah, I think uh, for him to be able to knock down four threes, uh, two of them being four point plays. Uh, uh, but I, I thought, again, just the shots that he took, they were great looks. Um, you can see he's starting to turn the corner here. And, and when, as we've talked about um, with his struggles, we, we need him. And, and it just shows that, you know, the guys are trying to get him shots and he's being aggressive and he's taking the shots when he's open. Obviously, you're kind of lost in the moment, you know, the moment of the game, but I wonder if you heard the fans in the second quarter chanting Lucas sucks right before he went off. <laughs> Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't. You might want to like go on the road now, start paying fans to do that. Yeah, well, we know he doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> we know he doesn't yeah. suck. Yeah, but that's pretty much when he started turning it on. Yeah, I think um, I think he enjoys if that's what took if that's what sparked him. Um, I think we all know he enjoys when people talk to him, um, and, and and so. If that's what sparked him, then yes, we would like that to happen a lot more. Um, but, you know, I think just starting off the road trip, um, understanding the importance of each game, um, I thought, again, to be able, as DP brought up, um, the 30 points in each, you know, we scored over 30 points. The ball is moving. Um, we're sharing the ball. It's not about, you know, can we get it? We're talking about getting a better shot and we're getting wide open looks. Now, some of them we're not going to make. It's just part of the game. But I thought just being consistent in that area. And then I thought the big the big thing was the start of the ball touching the paint. That's where we, we wanted to get to early and often. I thought we did that on a consistent basis tonight. I know you gave up 124 points, but you had 13 steals and seven blocks tonight. What were you guys able to do from a defensive standpoint? Yeah, we had 20 turnovers. Um, we gave up some points. Uh, in this league, it, you're going to see some scores. Everyone's scoring the ball. Um, we scored 140 something tonight. So, um, just to, to understand the pace, uh, we're deep. We can, we can. When we score the ball, our defense is a, a lot better, and I, you can see that. But the deflections and steals tonight were big to create 20 turnovers, and then to be able to explore on the other end. And again, sharing the ball. I thought Josh has some great plays to Timmy on the break. Um, everyone's touching the ball. We're trying to get everyone involved, and everybody responded tonight. So we got to build on this. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you, everyone.